Hey guys, what's up? This is Rex Link Fish Guy. Um, doing a quick little video of the 55 gallon, um, in which I just cleaned earlier today. Pardon for the algae on the back. For whatever reason, I could not get it to come off, like at all. Anyways, um, I've lost quite a few Sokolofi recently, as you guys can see. I, which is a really big bummer. Um, and I'm not entirely sure why. So, oh, and only one of the fry survived. And I didn't feel like he should be in the main tank or whatever for, I just didn't feel like it. So I put him in the bucket with the sponge filter and the one um, Sokolofi that was recovering. Um, but all of these fish seem to be doing okay except for a couple which I'm not really sure what to do about them. I wish I could isolate them but then my tank would be basically empty because that female up there she was holding is not doing great. He doesn't look great right now. Um, looks a little on the skinny side. And a couple of the fish are either fat or skinny, and I, I, I'm i trying to feed them all equally. Um, so yeah, but I had an interesting idea earlier. Since Sokolofi have not been doing well for me recently, I'm thinking maybe if all of these die off, I might switch to a Tanganyika setup. Including some shell dwellers, maybe some Brachiardi or Calvis or Compressisips or something. I'm not entirely sure as I just started thinking about this idea earlier today. Um, maybe some Lalupi. I'm not sure though. Um, might switch this into a 55. I think that might be, er, not a 55. Might switch this into a Tanganyikan setup, maybe. Or I will maybe go out and buy more Sokolofi, because some of these Sokolofi are still really, really pretty. Like this male, that male. Um, they're kind of the dominators. He's a cool male, he's kind of more purplish and dark blue. Um... I think I have too many males in this setup though, and that is probably the problem. But I don't really have females to put in here, and I don't have enough fish to call it overstocked if I was to pull out all of the males. Um, which is kind of what I would need. And I don't really have any place to put all the extra males. So, yeah. Anyways. I'm not really sure what to do about the back of the tank, covered in algae, and whatnot. Let me know what you guys think about making this a Tanganyika setup. I obviously have plenty of multis for like the shell dweller idea in my room, in my multi tank, to definitely get a good colony going in here if I chose to, and then. I can also just buy the other fish or whatever. Buy what other species I plan to stock. I'm not really sure what I'm planning to stock yet though. But if I was to rip this tank down, I would probably rip it down. If I had the money, buy a new 55 or 75 that wasn't all scratched up if possible. And make sure that algae gets off, because it won't come off otherwise. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about my predicament right now, guys. Um, yeah. Something exciting, though, is I leave for Hawaii in a week. My brother is graduating from medical school, and we're going to celebrate by going to Hawaii I think the first day I'm there for a full day, we're going to Hanama Bay, which is the main snorkeling area, which is super exciting. I kind of hope to see a shark, but not get eaten by one. Uh, 
kind of a stupid hope, but that's what I was hoping, maybe. And also to see some sea turtles and some other cool looking fish, even though it's salt water. And not as cool as freshwater fish. Um, so yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Comment in the comment section below, please. I really would like some input on this. I'm sorry I haven't gotten a video out in a while. I've been super busy, which I know is always the excuse, but it's true. So yeah, let me know, guys. See ya.